Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit and color grade an outdoor portrait. So let's get it started. So this is the image at first. I need to create a smooth skin for this. Copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and J and then convert it to a smart object and then press ctrl and i to invert and change the blend mode to vivid light and then go to filter then other and high pass let's zoom in and see this was the before and after and look at this this is too much I think 14 pixels is perfect for this image. Now press OK. And then again go to the filter, then blur and select Gaussian blur. And I'm giving yeah 4.5. Look at this. This was before and this is after. It looks great. 4.5 pixel is good for this image. So I'm click OK and as it is a smart object you can always go back and change your value now look at this this is the before and this is the after but i want the effect only in the skin not the whole image so what press and hold alt and click on the mask icon and now pick a soft white brush and paint over the skin just like this press and hold alt and click on the mask to check the area where you paint so now let's see the before and after this was the before and this is after it looks really great now i want to color grade the image for this Press Shift plus Ctrl plus Alter and E to merge these two layers into a single layer and then convert it to a smart object. Then open it with camera or filter. So I want to increase the exposure a little bit. I am giving 0.15 that's good and also increase the contrast a little bit. 22 for contrast that's good and decrease the highlights just a little minus 8 i think this is good and bump up the shadows i think yeah 85 is good and then add some white and also plus 27 for black and then add some texture just 5 and then minus 13 for vibrance that's good then go to the curves and click on this point and drag it to the up I think that's good and create another point yeah I think it's good and another point here that's good so create a curves like this and then go to the ACSL adjustment and click on hue and here I am just giving I think negative 25 for the blues and then go to the saturation and I'm increase the red I think plus 30 for red 
and then plus 9 for orange and plus 12 for yellow plus 8 for green and then 9 for aquas 8 for blues then 8 for purples and 6 for magenta then go to the luminance and I'm giving minus 8 for red then minus 5 for yellows then minus 7 for green minus 7 for aquas minus 11 for blues minus 10 for purples and minus 4 for magentas then go to the split tuning option and in the highlight section i am giving i think a bluish color to 66 in hue and 12 for saturation and minus 40 for balance and in the shadows I'm giving a little bit yellowish color I think so 43 for hue and 11 for saturation look at this and then go to the camera calibration and come into the blue primary channel and in the hue minus 6 and I think 30 for saturation so the basic color grading is almost done look at this before and after this was the before and this is the after look at this it looks good now press ok when you are done so let's see the before and after this was the before and this is after it looks great and now I want to create a gradient map and in the first point I am giving a black color and in this point I want to give a gold type color I think yeah this is fine so the color code is this is CD8A07 so press OK and change the blend mode to soft light and decrease the opacity around 10% or 11% look at this this is the before and this is after it creates a warm glow effect then go to the selective color and select green here and look at this changes here i'm giving plus 100 in cyan and minus 100 in yellow look at this it looks good and i think plus 8 for black that's good look at this this is the before and this is the after and now select neutrals and in the cyan I am giving a yeah, minus 9 I think that's good look at this yeah it's good and then go to the black and just increase the black a little bit I think plus 5 is good okay let's see the before and after this was the before and this is the after look at this you can always change the opacity that's good look at this now I'm going to add some glow on my subject. For this, create a levels adjustment layer and then select the mask and press Ctrl and I or fill it with black. And now pick a soft white brush just like this and paint over the subject. Press and hold Alt and see where you paint 
and again press and hold alt and click on the mask to go back the original image so i think it's done now just add some brightness and some contrast look at the before and after now look at this this is the before and this is after you can go back to the mask and paint where you like so let's zoom out and see the before and after this is the before and this is after it looks great and you can always change the opacity that's good now I want to enhance the eyes a little bit so create a curves adjustment layer and bring this point like this and now click on the mask and press ctrl and i to inverse and you can pick a soft white brush and just like this and for these eyes I am decreasing the opacity around 18% and just a little paint not too much Look at this before and after this was the before and this is after let's zoom out and decrease the opacity a little bit and now let's see this is the before and this is after i think i should decrease it a little bit more around 60 percent that is good now i'm gonna add some light in this area for this I'm using this light so place it where you like and now change the play mode to screen look at this let's zoom out press ctrl and T to resize okay now look at this you can also decrease the opacity i i think 97 percent is okay for me look at this before and after look at the glow so i think it is almost done let's make a group of all this layer and let's see the before and after this was the before and look at this this is the after so i hope you will love this video if you like this video hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe